In today's video, I'm going to show you how to disassemble an Asus Q405U laptop. And there are 11 screws to remove. One here in the top corner, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then this one right here. Okay, once you have all the screws removed, you want to flip the machine back over. Take a credit card or something hard plastic right around the edges of that top cover. Maneuver it in there to create some separation. Once you work it a little bit, now you can see the top cover literally lifts right off. You still have some connectors in here which you have to remove. The first one is going to be your keyboard cable, which is right here. This cable right here is actually taped down to the board, so you can kind of pull it up a little bit, and then the same thing, you can wiggle that one out. This cable right here has also got some sticky, you just wanna peel that back a little bit. Okay, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is remove the hard drive. It's connected with three screws, one here, one here, and one here. Peel this tape off, and there is your fourth and fifth screw. And we can just pull it right out. The next step in the disassembly process is the battery. There is some linen tape here over the Wi-Fi adapter, so you wanna just gently remove that. There is a screw holding down the Wi-Fi adapter into the motherboard, so we have to remove that. And there is another little piece of linen tape right here. You wanna take a screwdriver and remove the screw for the Wi-Fi adapter. You can see the cables here are wrapped in these little grooves. Now the battery does have one screw holding it down right here. Be mindful of the cables that are running around the edges here. In addition to this screw here, it looks like you've got two others, three others right here, one, two, and three. Once you've got those out, this whole battery assembly should lift right out. If you have to replace any of your USB ports, you have your whole main USB board over here, one screw holding it in, speakers right here on the left side and on the right. Of course, you've got your fan here. It does not appear that it's attached on this side. You have to take the motherboard out and flip it over. You've got one motherboard screwed here, another here, and here, and then this whole board comes right out. To get the LCD screen off, you've got your hinge connections here, one screw here, and one screw on this side, and then the whole LCD assembly comes off. So if you enjoyed this video, click on that like button, show me a little love. Not only do I do disassembly videos, but I also do Windows tips and tricks video. With that being said, hope you enjoyed the video and have a great day.